Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I got something really fun here. I'm very excited about this. Uh, this uh, is a donation to the channel from a major supporter here of the project and everything that I'm trying to accomplish here. James uh, sent me this amazing package. Let's get this thing open. I think uh, this is gonna be a really big help in some of the stuff that I wanna do here on the channel. Now, I already know what this is. You guys don't know what this is. But this is something I've been very, very excited to obtain for quite some time. Uh, it is an absolutely critical tool, in my opinion, in the mineral identification. So many little boxes here. It's like Christmas. You know, I really like to think of this as uh, kind of a big community project here, you know? Um, I wouldn't be where I'm at doing this if it wasn't for people like, people like you. And here we have it. Oh my gosh, it is in so many parts. We finally have, we finally have a microscope, people. Let me get this thing fully unpacked. So, what we have here is we have a stereo microscope from Amscope. This is awesome. We have a camera up top so I can share with you what I'm looking at. Uh, a microscope is a key tool in mineral identification, rock identification, and it's not something that, well, I've had the luxury of having before. So, uh, the whole world of uh, owning a microscope, all of the stuff um, is all new to me. And uh, I think it goes without saying that uh, a precision tool such as a microscope does not belong in a hot, cold, dusty environment like my shop. This is going to be being moved into the office where I have a little space set up. So uh, I'm going to get this thing fully hooked up now. I'm super excited. This is awesome. And uh, show you what that thing looks like fully up and running. There's a million little parts. Um, we've got the camera. It comes with a light. Um, this thing is perfect for rock and mineral identification because we can put a big sample under here if need be. I'm just, I'm very, very pumped at, um, well, the prospect of being able to figure out what some of the stuff is uh, and share that with you. So uh, let's go, let's move into the office now. Let's go get this thing up and running. I don't know what to say. Okay, so I've had the microscope a couple of days now and it is mind blown. Oh my gosh. To be able to look at rocks and minerals in this like high magnification. This goes from eight to 180 power. Uh, I've spent a bunch of time mostly looking at stuff in this like 40 to 80 power range. Seems really, uh, really good. But just like the the level of detail, like I've, I've already answered so many questions that I've had about things. And, you know, one of the things that I've kind of learned, you know, the thing is I'm, I'm clueless here, right? Like I'm learning as I go. <clears throat> um, the depth of focus is very little, very little. So like when you're looking through the microscope and trying to focus in on something that is thick, you can only get portions of that in focus at any one time. Uh, so I've been taking time-lapse images with it, sending those time-lapse images over to a computer and then using focus stacking software to be able to build a progressively full in focus image. And uh, my images are okay. Um, they're not as good as they could be, I think. Actually, I know that. I know they're not as good as they could be, but it answers my questions and it gives me the ability to share these things with you. Um, I have five things over here. Um, I think what we should do is we will take these out to the shop. We'll look at them just like in hand, how you could see them, and then look at them 
on the images that I've taken and I'll show you those and just like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like the microscope is amazing. It's amazing, right? Like I just, I don't know. It's a whole other world. It is a whole other world. So let's go out to the shop. Let's look at, look at the rocks. Let's look at our photos. Well, I must, uh, preface this by saying please forgive any traffic sound you might hear in the background my whole shop is currently open it's almost 100 degrees in here well um i was right about a couple of things and i was wrong about a couple of things so let's start by looking at this this is some material from the wild turkey mine and uh you know it's serpentine the green and uh this white I had suspicions that it could have been asbestos, but it didn't really match a lot of the things that I was able to research and see. Well, um, the white that you're looking at here is actually quite high quality asbestos. Um, I had a little bit of a hard time taking this image with it or of it, but you can clearly see the needle structure of the asbestos. Um, I think this is fascinating to be able to see something like that. Ideally, I should probably have a better specimen. These were are 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 weathered out, so it makes it a little difficult to uh, to see that. But that's very clear. Um, so that's a confirmation, mystery solved. Next up, we have some basalt with what I believe to be aragonite on on it. That's what the white stuff is. Um, aragonite is a, uh, like calcium. It's a, I, f I forget exactly, but, um, it's a, a form of calcite. It's in that, it's in that group. Um, looking at it under magnification, I'm pretty confident in looking at the structure of this, of saying that, yes, it is in fact aragonite. Uh, that came from the road cut near Dry Falls. Well, out at Winchester Creek, we picked up the, some of this eroding out granodiorite with mica books and some smoky quartz. And we saw, maybe you can see, right, right there, that little red dot. That little red dot is, in fact, a garnet. And you can actually see it in this photo, highly magnified. Um, it's, yeah, all of the little red things that I saw up there, little tiny garnets which is amazing. Next up, mystery mineral. Okay, this comes from outside of Kettle Falls, and uh, I had no clue what in the world this was. Well, um, I managed to get quite the image out of that, um, and I'm pretty sure it is a zeolite. It's nontronite? Non yeah, it's that. I'm pretty confident um, in saying that. Uh, I will touch more on that in a second. Here we have a piece of basalt um, that comes from, well, here, Spokane. And this uh, specific piece has what appears to be these little glassy pockets, all right? Now, uh, when I was Looking at this, there's obviously like some uh, siderite in here. And you can clearly see it even in some of the magnified photos that I was able to take. Well, what is this glassy portion here? I thought that it may have been a rare form of zeolite to the point where I went and I bought this book. Started learning a lot about zeolites. Um, I thought it could have been calcite. C-O-W, calcite. Um, and in actuality, uh, seeing it magnified here, you can actually see where uh, it is a rare form of clear spherical siderite. And it's meeting the more, I guess, iron-rich spherical siderite. In this photo, you can see where two of the little nodules, nodes, meet mid-color. So, uh, yeah, five things answered already. And I kind of really don't even know what I'm doing, to be totally honest. I mean, I am not by any means 
uh, trying to be an expert here. <laughs> this is amateur hour, right? Amateur hour. But uh, just, yeah, it's just, I can't express enough. Like, look, okay, look, look. All of this stuff, all of this stuff that people have sent in over, over the time that I've been doing this, I can look at it under a microscope and be like, crazy looking. Ab all of this, all of this will look absolutely bananas. Um, and that, and that. So, um, thank you so much, James, for sending in a microscope. This is completely crazy to me, um, but very, very appreciated. And I look forward to sharing all of my cool images that I'm able to take in the future when we go out. We rock on, we come back, we have a mystery to solve. Boom. Solved. Solved. Well, thanks for coming by, checking out the microscope with me. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one, everybody. Thank you so much for watching my entire video. If you like the content that I'm producing here on this channel and you want to support the content even further, you can do so by becoming a channel member by hitting the join button down below. The membership comes with a growing library of exclusive videos and just great other extra content. So I'll just follow the links down below and I will see you on the next video.